What's happening, YouTube? T Train here. We're back with our Pokemon Platinum Extreme Randomizer. And as luck, you guys, this is once again time for us to get on track. Um, so, we started making our way through uh, Mount Coronet again in the last episode because you just keep on coming back to Mount Coronet. It's just what happens in this game for whatever reason, is what happens. Um, and uh, I, I think we about made it to the end if we're not there already. I'm not entirely sure. But um, what I'll do is we'll do our brief team update here, super quick, like, because um, we are only we're we're at one less member than we were last episode. So make sure you go ahead and uh, keep an eye on that. Um, we'll go ahead and do our team update here, right quick. Um, I got the team up to level 53 uh, well, for the usable mods, anyway. Um, just because I I feel like that's probably about where we need to be, roughly. I, I, and that's literally just guessing. That's absolutely just guessing. But first up. We have Armando Alejandro Estrada, our water grass Nido King, who is holding onto the life orb so we can punch a hole through the other team. It has minus, which is, yeah, that exists. Uh, we have Dig, Frenzy Plant, Surf, and Brine. I am just waiting for us to get Waterfall, because I feel like we'll be in better shape when we get Waterfall, but that's where we're at right now. Next up, we have Rochelle, our Flying Dark Whale Rain, who is holding onto the Sky Plate to boost our flying type attacks. That's Scrappy, so we can hit Ghost types, which I mean, we are, we're a Dark type, but that's still useful because we have Extreme, Speed, Crunch, Defog, and Fly. I did learn Crunch in between episodes. I was really close to keeping Night Slash because I like that high crit ratio, but we really haven't been critting that much with Rochelle. So I kind of figured uh, a defense drop would be uh, more preferential in, in that case. So that's why I went with that. Next up, we have Mammy, our Rock Dragon Whiskash who has the lax incense to dodge dip, duck dive, and dodge. We have effects for so we can mess up anybody who's actually trying to touch up on us. We have Dragon Dance, Outrage, Rock Climb, and Rock Tomb. Then we have Glenda, our one-trick pony, our ghost type Rotom, who's holding on to the choice specs because you know, it is a one-trick pony. We have Water Absorb, so we can get some life back on some water attacks. And we have Spite, our one-trick Shadow Ball, Lovely Kiss, and Strike. Then we have Alvin, who's officially a member on the team. As you can see, he's grinded up to level 53 with the rest of the squad. It is our Psychic Poison Umbreon, who has the Black Sludge, because the only way you can make an Umbreon more annoying is to give it a recovery item. So that's exactly what I did. We have Snow Warning, which doesn't really benefit anybody. And we have Super Power, Poison Fang, Gunk Shot, and Psycho Cut. I committed to Alvin in between episodes, and I gave it three different TMs because I wanted to. Because I absolutely wanted to. We can get a nice toxic poisoning off of Poison Fang. Gunk Shot hits like a Mack truck. Psycho Cut, we have a high crit ratio. And I've actually been critting at a high rate with it. So it actually is living up to its name. And then we have Enrique here, who I kind of just put on the team because I didn't really have a good option in the PC. I figured a fire type at least gives us a different typing than we already had available. Um, there's the moveset. Uh, so we might keep it around, we might not. It depends on what happens here in the near future. But that is the team that we are working with today. And I see no reason not to just get going here. Oh, we actually did make it to the end. Fantastic. So I, I just organically picked a good place to stop. And I didn't even fucking know it, to be honest with you. I didn't even know it. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way! Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take it down in an epic duel! Alright. What do you got for me, friend? You have a Bronzong and a Blastoise. Now, I know that Blastoise typically has a uh, Wonder Guard. So I'm gonna have to dig on it, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's an Electric type. Uh, which means I actually need to get out of here with Rochelle. Almost stayed in. Almost made a terrible mistake. A terrible, terrible mistake. Um, but what we can do is we can go out to Mammy because Mammy will also resist an electric type attack. I don't actually know what Bronzong is, to be completely honest. So there's the thunder coming off. We'll get nice and resisted. Doing literally nothing except for paralyzing me. <laughs> and, okay. Okay, well the Bronzong just tried to paralyze me. Or to poison me. So that's that's what's up. Um, do I just... I, I kind of just want to click Outrage on the Bronzong. 
Uh, maybe I'll go Rock Climb instead, just so we can actually target the Bronzong. Oh, Blastoise, you're so bulky. Uh, this is going to be a neutral hit, so it's probably going to hurt. Eh, it could have been worse. And you poison sting me. Let's say, which isn't going to do nothing, but it's not going to do a lot. And we get poison. Alright, so they are actually kind of fucking my team up a little bit. And we got paralyzed, uh, so that's pretty sweet. That's good news. We're going to dig on the Blastoise again, because I literally don't have another Ground-type move to hit with anyway. And uh, we'll get a Moo Moo Milk up on Armando. At least we're not Toxic Poison, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so that's what we use Mammy's turn for, because that's probably the most effective way it could be used. And we're going back underground. Uh, Mammy is just gonna... is just gonna rock climb again, and hopefully we hit this time. Alright, so Blastoise is down and out. Got XP to go around. Enrique's gonna get some nice XP from that. It's because it's 20 levels lower. Poison Tail! That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a little more, but that's still not terrible. Our Rock Climb is actually gonna go off this time. And it's gonna do nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, a Sableye is coming out. I don't remember what typing Sableye is. Um, but I feel like I need to... Uh, actually, ooh, I can't Surf. Can't Surf. I'm gonna brine the Bronze Song because I don't remember what typing Sableye is. Actually, you know what? Let me let me just focus down this left side so we're fighting two on one for the rest of the battle. Well, let me just focus that down. Um, I'm gonna heal up again. I'm gonna heal up Armando again. And that did nothing. So you're either a water or a grass type. Uh, and you're gonna gyro ball my mammy, which isn't great. But we actually ate it. And actually, that's really not that bad. Because Sableye is, is nice and speedy. So not really a huge deal. Um, so Brine did nothing. So you're either another water type or a dragon type. Or a grass type. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig on the Sableye just to get myself underground and then I'm going to... Do I have any Petcha Berries left? Do I have any Petcha Berries left? I don't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll use a Lava Cookie on Armando with Mammy's turn. And that way we won't get touched. What are you doing? That's Solar Beam. That is Solar Beam, so you are 100% a Grass type. Um, it'll be neutral on Mammy, but I still don't know if that's a risk that I need to take, per se. Um, I think going out to Rochelle probably makes the most sense, so we're gonna do that. Um, that's gonna crit and knock out the Sableye! That's a big turn there. That's actually kind of a big turn there. Um, so now I think I just dig up on the Bronzong, and like I said, we'll just team up on it and we'll crunch the Bronzong too. Should lead to a knockout one way or another. Um, and I can just crunch again. Really doesn't matter what I use at this point. This thing's dead to the dig. Yeah, goodbye Bronzong. And an Alakazam! Oh god! Oh god, um, I kind of want to frenzy plant. I kind of want to frenzy plant. I kind of want to frenzy plant. That's gonna hurt a lot. Um, and I will just heal up Armando. So we're both basically at full health when this goes down. What do you got for me? Doom Desire. Okay. Don't necessarily have to worry. Oh, it's super effective! That's a dead Alakazam. Ain't no way an Alakazam is living a stab, super effective, life orb boosted frenzy plant from a need. Okay, that's just not gonna happen. It's not in the cards. It's not in the cards. Lit. We're not capable of slowing you down. We will let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. I don't understand why they just let, like, 
it's, it's a child versus adults. If you really didn't want to let me through, you could just go, okay, yeah, so you beat us in the battle, but um, we're not letting you through. We're way bigger than you are. <laughs> There's literally nothing you can do to try to get past us right now. We're just, we're, we're both going to just hold you up and we're gonna hoist you into the air and just hold you there because you can't do anything about it. Everything's gonna go as the plan's supposed to go down and there's gonna be nothing to worry about. Um, I actually kind of want to put Alvin up front just because our defenses with Alvin are so beyond good. Like even if, like we're not four times weak to anything. So that puts us in really good shape. Uh, to even to live a super effective hit, I think. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. Or did you have? I feel like you had the Cockney accent, and I haven't practiced my Cockney accent, so it's not gonna sound. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. It's, it's not. This is. I should have. I should have worked on it. I should have worked on it, and I didn't. If you're not gonna listen, you had to get through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hey, it's our boy! Hold on one second! Don't you start the party without me! Huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge! Huh. If it isn't this little boy. This little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's do a let's a battle two on two. All right, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm totally down with all of that, dude. Jupiter is like eight feet taller than Mars, one hundred percent. Absolutely one hundred percent. Stanley, you were super weak to something on my team. I can't tell you what it was. It's been like three days since I recorded, so I can't even tell you what it is that you're weak to. I um, think I'm just gonna go ahead and launch off a, uh, a psycho cut though. Are you a ghost type? You're a ghost type! Okay. Metal sound is gonna lower the special defense. Poison powder won't take this thing out. Unfortunately. Oh, that's so close though. And you put the curse on Alvin, which is really unfortunate. Um, I don't want to stay in and take any type of ghost type move coming my way. So we're going to switch out to Rochelle. Uh, on the ice beam. I don't think, I was going to say, I don't think that's stab. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the, actually, the Stantler's going to go down now. Cool, I was ready to extreme speed that thing. Um, you're some kind of fire type. <laughs> I know you are. I know that you are. Um, I don't want to stay in at all regardless because I just took a minus two special defense drop. So I'm going to go out to Alvin. You're going to flare blitz me, but we should take that. Oh, don't... I, oh my god. Okay, cool. Okay. I was so... I thought I got critted. I thought I just lost yet another Mon to a crit. But we didn't. We hung in. We took it. We're gonna get some Black Sponge Recovery back. Doesn't really matter, uh, cause we're gonna Hyper Potion up either way. I legitimately thought I got critted all over again. And I was so upset. That's still doing a lot of damage and I'm not okay with it. Mirror Shot. Um, I feel like that's gotta be a dead Bronzong. You got like minus four special defense. It still ate it though! Dog! This Bronzong is the MVP! What? What? Okay, so we're knocking out the right side, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm pretty okay with that. Who wants to learn Flare Blitz? Enrique wants to learn Flare Blitz. Uh, I think special attack is better for uh, Proba Pass. I can't say that 100% uh, for sure. Uh, but either way, I have Sacred Fire, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we're gonna give up on Flare Blitz. That's what we're gonna do that. So Alvin basically is just doing the- oh no, that's Latios. That's Latios. You have almost wrecked my team more than once, and I still don't have a handle on what typing you are. 
air cutter. You're flying type. Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. Mirror shot, dodging it. Ooh, a Chalice out. Um, I am 100%. Or do I? Do I want a gunk shot? I think I kind of want a gunk shot. I want a gunk shot, the Latios. The air cutter is that? Is that split damage? That's split damage. Nice. That's a flash cannon. Dude, destroy that Pelipper. Okay, or don't destroy it. That's fine too. This gunk shot, I'm hoping knocks out this Latios. That is an awfully strong move, but we don't exactly have an offensive Pokemon either. Never mind. Oh, it's a crit! Alvin, come through! Alvin, come through. Okay, so that is one side down. Uh, I kind of feel safe to just... Okay, so the Pelipper's down either way. So we're going to get some Black Sludge Recovery. No target, that's fine. Um, you are a... Grass type. You dark boy, you're going to sleep, dog! You're going to sleep! Wait, it doesn't affect it? It's a steel type. It's grass steel. Um, I could superpower this thing. So this should be resisted then, right? Yeah. I still did quite a bit of damage. This superpower is going to knock it out. Good job, Alvin. You're definitely coming out after that. Because I'm not having you out here. Even against the Deli Bird at minus one defense. Even against the Deli Bird, that's not a risk that I am taking. Um, let's go, let's go, Mammy. Let's go, Mammy. Dark Void, you're going to sleep too! Shady Penguin taking a nap, dog. Um, I'm just gonna outrage. I have no reason not to outrage. Yeah! And Enrique got it yet another level. Sweet. Ha! <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. T-Train, I'll help you with this. Yay, get us healed up. Nice and healed. Hey, T-Train, this is it. It's your show now. <laughs> he just splits. He's just like, okay, that, yeah, that's that's all I was here for. See you later. That's I just I just wanted one double battle. I just wanted to beat that bitch up for beating my ass earlier. Uh, I'm going to get out of here before this shit gets crazy. See ya, bye. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now all will end and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Oh, dude. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon, and the master of time, and the other. Don't just call it the other. Palkia is fucking awesome too. I played Pearl. Pearl is the first game. Pearl was my first game of Gen 4. I love Palkia. The mythical Pokemon, and master of space and dimensions. Big old purple balls just right on the screen. That gets my video taken down, man. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Look at them though! They're so awesome! I've waited so long for this moment. Dialga and Palkia shaping this world as a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I'm resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world. 
a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. Oh, look at Uxie! Dog, this is so cool. So fucking cool. I should have expected as much. Uxie, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mess Spirit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Tea Train. You've constantly interfered with my plans. But you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all the time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away from you. From your Pokemon. From those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Coolest fucking scene in like any Pokemon game. Ah! Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. I, Cyrus. Oh God. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Rip. Rip Cyrus. No! Dog, this whole scene. Oh, look at my spirit. Desperate. I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Oh, fuck. We have to hurry. So I'm, I'm going in, just no matter what. Just no matter what. This place. Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken, a space one might call the distortion world. She got from fucking nowhere. Let's find Giratina. We need it to stop the spreading dist We need to stop the spreading <laughs> distortion at the spear pillar. Oh! That was Giratina! We have to hurry! If something's not done, the distortion will swallow not only our world- You literally just said that! <laughs> Cynthia, I love you! Stop repeating yourself! Alright, well we're gonna tackle this in the next episode. We're gonna wrap up today. This is what we'll be starting out come Friday. But, that's it. 
uh, for now. So just a reminder, if you do like what you see here today, make sure you don't want you don't want to miss the next episode. That's fucking guaranteed. I God damn it. Uh, make sure you leave a like down below. It's a little help on the channel, and of course, it is very much appreciated. But with that, I'm gonna get out of here. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and with everything you do, always remember to stay on track. Bye.